Twitter hacking. Kind of, because if you think we're gonna be hacking into Twitter or hacking into someone's account, we're not doing that. So if you're here for that, get out of here. Not the video for you. But we will be using this amazing Python hacking tool to gather information from Twitter. This tool is crazy powerful. No rate limit, no login, no API. The setup is super fast. It seriously takes seconds. And I'll show you how to use this tool via CLI and even how to import this into your Python code. Now, real quick, disclaimer. While the tool we're using is not illegal and the way it searches Twitter is not illegal, your intent does matter. Please do not hack anyone without their permission or use this tool with any kind of ill intent. So be careful, use it for educational purposes only. The hacking tool we're using is called Twint, which stands for Twitter Intelligence. And seriously, no joke, I've never had more fun playing with a hacking tool. Like I spent way too much time playing with this, so I'm crazy excited to show you this for real. And it's super crazy easy to set up. All you'll need is about five minutes. You can use any Linux computer. And of course, I'll show you how to get free access to Google Cloud Console, which is my preferred way to do all this completely free. Like you can start using this tool right now in five minutes. All you need is your web browser. I love that so much anyways. And then last, but certainly not least, you need some coffee, man. You need some hacking fuel, two cups minimum. Networkchuck.coffee if you don't already have some. Let's get started. Oh wait, hold on real quick. Have you hacked the YouTube algorithm today? Make sure you do. Hit that like button, subscribe, notification bell, comment. Let's hack YouTube today. Ethically, of course. Now again, I'll be demoing this on the Google Cloud Console, which is completely free and amazing. You can do it right now. I've got a link below in the description. Just click that sucker and go. Now, of course, you can use your own environment. That's fine too. The steps will be the same. So I'm gonna get signed into my Google Cloud Console and get this party started. I'm so excited. Once you're logged in, click on the Cloud Console icon at the very top right here, and that'll launch your cloud shell, and it's so cool. Again, I can't say it enough. Thank you, Google, for doing something like this. Now, real quick, if you're not using Google Cloud Console like me, you will need a few things installed, like apt install git, do that, apt install python3, do that, and apt install python3-pip, and that should be enough. Let's keep going. First command, we're gonna use git to clone our tool. Now I will have all these commands below in the description. Feel free to copy and paste, but typing it in feels so much better. Just do that. Anyways, git clone. We'll do a dash dash depth equals one, and then the URL to the project. It'll be HTTPS colon whack whack and the URL. And hit enter. It's gonna clone that sucker. Done, so fast. Then we're gonna change directories into the twint directory that we just downloaded, cd twint. There. And then last command to get this going, we're gonna install our requirements, so pip three, install, we'll do a space, then a dot, and then a space, dash r, requirements, dot txt, and hit enter. Coffee break. Mm. And while we're all sipping our coffee, I'd like to thank the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with a ton of classes, like over a thousand, thousands. Now, what I love about Skillshare is that it's not necessarily about IT, it's more about creative stuff, like how to make coffee. Yeah, there's a course on that or how to develop my already excellent drawing skills. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious that I don't need any more help. I'm already pretty dang good. So I'll check out that course and see if they can teach me anything. I doubt it. So be watching the channel, see if I improve my drawing skills. But seriously, I do think it's important that IT people like us explore the soft skill side of our skill sets. Learning things like, hey, how do I talk in front of people? Public speaking. How do I teach and get an idea across? How do I stay productive? Like for example, I'm going through Thomas Frank's productivity class for creatives. It's these X factor skills that make you great in IT. And also I do think it's important that you have hobbies and interests outside of technology. I know it's kind of hard to, cause it's awesome. So explore your creative side a bit, learn how to make a cup of coffee, learn how to draw, maybe learn how to make a UI, a user interface, the pretty part of it, instead of just the back end. So check it out, link below in the description. The first 1000 people to click that link will get a free trial of the Skillshare premium membership. After that, it's only 10 bucks a month. Anyways, coffee break over, let's keep going. And that's it, <laughs> it's installed, ready to go, just like that. And honestly, it's so simple and cool to use. Watch this, I'm gonna clear my screen. So let's try this first. Type in twint, then we'll do a dash u for a username and we'll specify a user. Let's say just myself, network chuck. What this tool is doing is so cool. No API required. It's not using the Twitter APIs. No Twitter login required. It's simply scraping Twitter and it's crazy powerful. Let's try it out right now. Ready, set, go. Ah, <laughs> I'm gonna hit control C to stop. But look at all that. Look at all my tweets. That is so stinking cool. But this is just the beginning. Here we go. I'm gonna clear my screen once more. Now first real quick, how do you get help if you don't know what you're doing? Simply type in twint and then dash H 
it'll tell you all the, the switches you can use. Now this way is cool using the CLI. We'll go through a few more examples here in a moment, but the more powerful, amazing way to do this, the more fun way is through Python modules or the Python module. We can import Twint into our code and use it for some cool stuff. I'll show you here in a moment. But anyways, the CLI is powerful by itself. Let's try a few things. So let's do that same search we just did. Twint dash U for username, network Chuck. Now, what if you don't want a million tweets? What if you only want my last 20 tweets? We can do that. Dash dash limit to the last 20 tweets. That's more digestible. Let's try that out real quick. Okay, there we go. Not too bad. You can also search through tweets. So I can do twint dash U for my username network Chuck once more. And then we can do a dash S to search. And this can be any keyword. For example, we may want to see all the Raspberry Pi tweets I put out. So put it Raspberry Pi between quotes. And let's take a look. <laughs> it even has my first tweet about Raspberry Pis, which was back in 2016. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is when I put a Unify controller, OpenVPN, dynamic DNS, all running on my Pi 3. That was fun. All right, let's keep going. Let's go deeper. Let's get crazier. We can also output these results to a file so we can, you know, store them and look at them later. Twint, we'll do the same thing. Network Chuck for my username. I'll search for every time I've said right now. And then I'll do a dash O to output it to a file. Let's see, right now dot JSON. And then I'll do a dash dash JSON to make sure the data is formatted to be JSON. And let's check it out. Now it'll still output to the terminal, but let's do an LS to see what's inside my folder here. There it is, right now.json. Let's look inside. I'll do a nano right now.json. And there they all are. <laughs> that is so cool. Okay, here we go. Even deeper, more cool things. Let's pick on David Bomble. So twint dash u David Bomble. If you don't know who David Bomble is, go follow that guy. He's amazing. We've been friends for years. Now I want to see all David Bomble's popular posts. I'll do dash dash men dash likes. And I'll do 100. This will return all tweets that have at least 100 likes. If it doesn't have 100 likes, it ain't gonna be there. Let's try it out. Yeah, look at David, so popular. Look at all those popular tweets. Let's see all the times he's talked about me. I'll search for myself. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's still going. Yeah, we hang out a lot. <laughs> we talk a lot. <laughs> Maybe I only wanna see his tweets from today. Let's try that. I'll do dash dash since, and I'll specify the date, 2021. Today's April 28th. Let's see. Ooh, congrats to all these winners of the contest. So just one tweet today. We can also go back and look at previous stuff, like let's specify year. 2016, was David even on Twitter? Yeah, he was, wow. <laughs> He's talking about SDN and OpenFlow like crazy. Now I wanna see his pictures from 2016, so I can actually specify tweets only with images. I'll do dash dash images. Here we go. Oh, he's got one talking about Raspberry Pis. Let's go take a look at that. Oh, someone retweeted David and oh, he's messing with a, a Raspberry Pi Zero. That's fun. Now what we're doing here might seem silly. I'm just looking at pictures and old tweets, but that's, that's hacking. Gathering information is a vital part of hacking. Now just a few more CLI commands before we go crazy in Python. So here we go. You don't have to just search by username or by one account. I can search simply by a search term. So maybe I wanna find out all the people talking about coffee near where I live here in Dallas. I can do that. So I'll do dash dash near Dallas. And I want to see it for today. So I'll do since 2021, blah, 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 today. And these things have to be popular. So I want a minimum likes of at least 15 likes. Let's try it out. That is too cool. Six hours straight of drinking coffee while listening to EDM. Probably an unhealthy choice. I don't know, sounds great to me. Maybe I'm in Paris and I wanna hang out with people talking about Raspberry Pis. So let's see if anyone's talking about Raspberry Pis today in Paris. And there certainly are. Let's go check this guy out real quick. Raspberry Pi news, looks pretty cool. And you can also be more precise. So you don't have to do near. You can actually search by coordinates, by geo coordinates. So let's uh, specify some geo coordinates. Dash G equals latitude and longitude. I'll do a comma after that and specify the radius. We'll say within like 20 kilometers. No one? This is Austin, Texas. No one talking about Raspberry Pis. I bet they're talking about coffee. Let's test that out. Yeah, look at all those coffee people in Austin, Texas. <laughs> now the CLI, it's fun, but the real power comes in with Python. You ready? <laughs> Let's do this. This is so cool, seriously. Anyways, here we go. I'm gonna create a new Python file using nano, leave me alone. Nano, and I'll name this uh, Hot Topic. Nothing to do with the store, not sponsored, relax. Dot pi. First thing we'll do here is make sure we got twint. 
involved. We'll import twint. That's importing that Python module so we can use it in our script. So for this script, I want it to be interactive. So here we go. I want to be able to launch this and say, hey, this is what I'm searching for and what city I'm searching for it in to kind of get hot topics like maybe Raspberry Pis in Dallas, coffee in Berlin, tea in England. There you go, David. Let's try it out. I'll name my first variable search and I'll have that equal an input. It'll ask me for input. It'll ask me, what are you searching for? Another one I'll name city and equal that also an input. I'll say where, and then let's get twint set up. Now, if this is all foreign to you, that's fine. This is a great opportunity for you to learn a little bit of Python. And if you already know Python, do you go crazy with this and have a ton of fun? Seriously, this is so cool. Anyways, okay. Have I said that enough yet? So I'll say C, another variable, and I'll have that equal twint.config. Case being very important here. I'll say C.search equals my variable search. C.near equals my variable city. I do want to limit my search. So I'll say limit it to 20 tweets. And I only want to see popular tweets. Now I can say number of likes, like it has to have 100 likes, or I can do popular tweets. And this is Boolean, so I'll have that equal true. I believe that is, yeah. Oh wait, the uh, T needs to be lowercase. Case is important. And yeah, you know, I think that's good. So now we're going to launch the command. It will be twint.run.search and then my variable C, which encapsulates all that business right here. That should be good. I'm gonna control X to get out of there. Why do you say I say, wanna save it? <laughs> Easy for me to say, and hit enter. Cool. Time to run my script. I'm doing Python 3, and then what I name it? Oh, hot topic, <laughs> hottopic.py. Let's see what happens. What am I searching for? Hmm, let's say, let's do coffee in Berlin. Coffee, Berlin. How cool is that? That's so cool. Something about coffee in space. I want to see that tweet. Let's check it out. Ooh, a new coffee machine. Love it. Okay, one more Python thing I want to show you, just to kind of show you the power of what you can actually do yourself. Uh, so on Twitter, I tweeted two things. I said, retweet this and then uh, reply to this. That was for right now. So I've got a script. Let me show you what I'm doing. So here it is. Let's jump in there real quick. Called it mypeople.py. And here's the script. I'm pulling in date time to get today's date now. And I'm saying whoever tweets at me today, I want to pull all those tweets. It's going to run that search and then throw that into a, a list, a Python list. If you don't know what that is, we'll cover some of that stuff later in a new series. I then create a new list just called my people. And that new list with this command will only have all of your usernames. Everyone who replied to me or, or sent me stuff, I've got all your usernames in a nice little list. It's going to print that list. And then it's going to go through all of your accounts and pull your last 20 tweets and 20 tweets, 10 times fast, and then print that on the terminal. Pretty cool, right? I mean, it's kind of pointless, but if you think about what you can do for an actual OSINT investigation when you're hacking, whatever, <laughs> so check it out. Let's try it. Python three, my people, dot pi. Here we go. Ready for this? Here we go. There you all are. Thank you. And then here comes all your tweets. <laughs> How cool is that? Twit, a Python hacking tool for Twitter. It's awesome. I can seriously spend hours just playing with this and creating scripts. In fact, I would love to see what you guys create. So let me know below, comment below with what you have. It's awesome. Anyways, let me know what you think of the video in the comments below. Make sure you hack YouTube today. Ethically, of course, the algorithm. So like the video, comment, notification bell, all that YouTube -y stuff. And yeah, that's all I have today. I'll catch you next time.